Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode 24 of Lightroom Quick Tips. In this episode, we're going to talk about lens corrections. Now, most of you probably know when you're in the Develop Module of Lightroom, over on the right hand panel, part way down, we have this section Lens Corrections. And we really, it's very simple. You just click these checkboxes to enable profile corrections, remove chromatic aberration and hopefully all these lens distortions get corrected by Lightroom when you click those checkboxes. Well, I encourage you to go over to this next tab where it says Profile and you could see that I clicked Enable Profile Corrections but there is no lens profile listed. The reason for this is I used an aftermarket lens on this image. I used a Nikon camera but I used a Tokina 100 millimeter macro lens and this happens quite often if you're using an off-brand lens and when I say off-brand that's a very loose term because you'll find that the lens profiles for Canon and Nikon will almost always be there within a month after a new re lens being released but it seems that for other manufacturers uh, Adobe's a little slower to get some lens profiles done so you may not find that you have a lens profile here. Well, simply what you should try first is right where it says make and there's this little drop down, it currently says none. Just open this up and go down to the brand lens you have. As I mentioned, this is a Tokina lens. So we'll click on that and you'll see it found the profile and it applied the profile to the image. So uh, step one is if your lens isn't listed when you check this uh, click box here or click this check box, you should just go to this drop down and put in the make of your lens. Now, let's go to this image. I recently made this image with my mirrorless Fujifilm X-T1 camera and I used a 135 millimeter, well I used an 18 to 135 millimeter lens shot at 135 millimeters. So, again, I'm going to click this enable profile corrections and you can see it came up with none. Now, we'll go down to where it says Fujifilm and it applied a profile but it applied the incorrect profile it, it applied a profile for Fujifilm Finepix X100 that is a camera that is a non interchangeable lens camera so I'll go to this model and I'll do that drop down and there's only three cameras listed and they're all really the same camera there's just the X100, X100S, X100T that camera was up, updated twice over the years. So, obviously, my 135 or my 18 to 135 millimeter lens is not listed. Well, what can you do? Well, Adobe has a free app. It's called the Adobe Lens Profile Downloader. And you could go to Adobe, search for this, or just do an internet search and you'll find it. You could download it from Adobe. And this works in conjunction with another free app that Adobe has called a Lens Profile Creator. And what that is is folks like you and me find that we don't we have a favorite lens or whatever and it's not listed with Lightroom. And they create their own profiles. They know enough about the optics of lenses. They could obtain the data sheet for the lens and they create a profile for it with the lens profile creator and they then upload this lens profile that they created to Adobe and Adobe makes it excuse me Adobe makes it available to all of us via this Adobe lens profile downloader and what you would do you go to your camera make and in this case it was Fujifilm and it shows a bunch of cameras down here some lens or um, uh, some cameras with lenses, some that are just um, non-interchangeable lens cameras. But in this case I have this uh, specific lens, this 18 to 135. So we go over to lens model and it will show all the Fujifilm lenses that have profiles for them. And as I go through the list, that 18 to 135 isn't listed here. So really I'm up I'm up the creek here. I, what can I do? I don't have a profile for my lens. Well, 
just to back up a bit, if you do find your lens here, you put in your camera uh, make, you know, whatever it is, and you do find your lens, all you would simply do, let's say it's an 18 to 55 for the sake of argument, you would uh, highlight it, and then you would just click download. And this app will automatically download the profile and install it in Lightroom for you. Okay, but in my case now, my 18 to 135 isn't listed. Well, what I did was I loaded that same exact image in Photoshop. And as most of you know, Photoshop um, doesn't open RAW files directly. It uses another app called Adobe Camera Raw to open the RAW files. And Adobe Camera Raw really is the develop module of Lightroom. It uses the same processing engine. But what I was hoping is that my <coughs> Fujifilm lens might have been listed in Adobe Camera Raw even though it wasn't in Lightroom. So I opened this up in Adobe Camera Raw and I went over to the Lens Corrections tab up here and I clicked on that and I see that the same lens profiles are listed. So, you know, no luck. But then I looked down here and I saw this little information block and it says the built-in lens profile applied and it has my lens listed XF 18 to 135 uh, click for more info so when I click it I come up with this box and it says that this raw file contains a built-in lens profile for correcting distortion chromatic aberration and vignetting the profile has already been applied automatically to this image and I says, wow, that's something. So I did some more research, and I found that Fuji, Fujifilm, all their cameras, all their X-series cameras, already contain the lens profiles for all the Fujifilm X-series lenses. So you don't have to worry about lens corrections, whether you're in Lightroom or you're in Adobe Camera Raw. They're automatically applied. So that's great news for me and great news for anyone that uses any Fujifilm X-series um, cameras. And that is probably why when you're in Lightroom and you look at the lens corrections profiles, there's nothing listed except for this FinePix X100 series of cameras. They're, the um, lens corrections are already in the cameras and they're already being applied. So that's really fantastic. We don't have to even go to this lens correction tab. So I did some quick research and um, it wasn't very thorough but I think Fuji is the only manufacturer that does this. Perhaps some others do. The way to check to see if yours does, the only way that I know of, because Lightroom does not indicate anywhere that a lens profile was already applied. I looked through all the menu items up here in Lightroom I just couldn't find it. So the way to check is you'd have to load your image. Let's say you have a Ricoh camera and you took an image, a RAW file, load it into Photoshop, let it open in Adobe Camera Raw and see if you got that information box there or whatever model camera you use. So hopefully this helps someone better utilize lens corrections when they're in Lightroom. I'd like to thank everyone that watches my videos I truly do appreciate it thank you very very much if you guys could do me a favor and subscribe to my YouTube channel I would truly appreciate it alright that's it for episode 24 I'll talk to you guys soon